This screencast video is going to take a look at our AP Government vocabulary for unit number seven on the legislative branch. First word is committee, and this is a group in Congress, either in the Senate, group of senators, or in the House, a group of representatives that are tasked with focusing on one particular issue, becoming experts on it, and forming legislation uh, around those topics. And here is some example of some examples of different topics. So these are uh, the different committees that are in the Senate. And the House of Representatives has very similar committees in their side of the Congress. The next word is filibuster. This is a procedure in the Senate, and just in the Senate, where a member can continue to uh, discuss and debate and argue on a particular bill and hold the floor, which has the effect of delaying the vote because that, partic that particular person continues to talk so that a vote can happen. And it's used uh, by people in the minority to try to keep laws from being passed. The next word is cloture, and this is kind of the opposite of filibuster. This is the procedure for actually ending debate and discussion on a particular bill so that it actually gets voted on. And bill is um, an idea for a law that is in the process of being developed. A bill will actually become a law once the president signs it, and a bill is the word we use when the idea is in the process of being debated and discussed, either in the House of Representatives or the Senate. Veto is an example of checks and balances. So when a bill is passed through Congress, it goes to the president, and the president can sign it, in which case the bill will become a law, or the president has the opportunity to veto it. And this is an action that the president takes when he or she does not approve of that particular bill becoming law. Pocket veto is another type of veto. This is just when the president basically refuses to act. Um, they don't sign it or they don't veto it, um, but if they don't do anything and Congress has adjourned, this basically kills the bill and it's dead. It doesn't move forward to becoming a real law. And another check, uh, another example of checks and balances is the veto override. So if a bill passes through the Senate and the House and goes to the President and the President vetoes it, Congress can then go back and override the veto. This is very difficult to do, however, because it requires the two-thirds majority in both sides of Congress, uh, which is it's very unusual to have that many people supporting one vote, but um, it is possible to override the veto of the president. 